In April 2000, a supervisor and his four workers were engaged to perform cable laying work involving four manholes at a work site. Upon arrival, the workers opened manhole A and proceeded to pump water out. After one and a half hours, the supervisor instructed worker 1 and 2 to open manhole B, which was 20 meters away. Worker 1 went to the lorry to get a ladder, which he then placed into manhole B. He climbed down the ladder until half his body was inside manhole B. At the same time, worker 4 was inside manhole A, pushing copper cables over to manhole B. After the cable was pulled over from manhole A to B, the supervisor instructed worker 1 and 3 to open manhole C, which was about 40 meters from manhole A. It was now after 6 p.m. and the sky was starting to get dark. Worker 1 went to get a torchlight from the lorry and handed it over to worker 3 as instructed by the supervisor. The supervisor instructed worker 3 to check the number of pipes inside manhole C. The supervisor then left manhole C and headed back to manhole A. Worker 3 checked and confirmed that there were six pipes in manhole C. He then went over to manhole A to inform the supervisor. Fifteen minutes later, worker 1, who was waiting outside manhole C, noticed that a crowd had gathered around manhole A. Worker 1 went over to manhole A and saw three of his co-workers lying motionless inside the manhole. He noticed that worker 4 was the furthest away inside the manhole. The supervisor was found lying on top of worker 3. A simple cable laying job resulted in the loss of three lives. What went wrong? Lack of ventilation No preparations were made prior to the underground cable laying work. The manholes were only opened on the day of accident. Mechanical ventilation was not used to supply fresh air into the manholes. Accumulation of toxic gases when Worker 4 was carrying out work in the manhole, hydrogen sulfide gas was released due to the agitation of water containing sludge. Hydrogen sulfide was allowed to accumulate due to the lack of ventilation after opening and during work in the manhole. No permit for entry. No one had applied for a confined space entry permit and gas checks were not conducted to determine the level of oxygen flammable gases, and hydrogen sulfide prior to entering the manhole. Lack of emergency response procedures The workers entering the manhole were not equipped with a full-body harness and a lifeline, and there was no confined space attendant assigned to keep watch outside the manhole. Lessons learned Risk assessment Risk assessment must always be conducted before starting work in a confined space. Appropriate risk control measures should be put in place before manhole entry is attempted. Mechanical ventilation Before entry into the manhole, it is crucial to purge the space adequately to remove hazardous contaminants. Subsequently, continuous ventilation should be provided to maintain a safe work environment gas testing and monitoring of the manhole atmosphere. The manhole atmosphere must be tested by a confined space safety assessor. Workers can enter a manhole only if it is certified safe for entry. Workers should also be equipped with a personal gas detector to continuously monitor the atmosphere after entry into the manhole. Confined space entry permit system. Supervisors and workers must also ensure that the entry permit is valid, correctly endorsed, and that all the necessary gas checks have been carried out before entering the confined space. Emergency Response Plan Supervisors and workers should be reminded of the importance of following proper emergency response procedures and not to be rash when attempting rescue in a confined space. In this case, Worker 3 was overcome by hydrogen sulfide when he rushed into the manhole to rescue Worker 4. Similarly, 
the supervisor was overcome when he rushed in to rescue worker 3 and worker 4. Important lesson learned is that one should not rush into an unknown atmosphere without being suitably prepared. This is because an unplanned rescue may result in multiple fatalities. Remember, an unplanned rescue may be your last.